always afraid you're gonna see my coochie. Bonjour. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today is gonna be a day that I really have to push myself to stay on track and to stay focused on my goals and the things that I want to accomplish because for the past couple days, I have worked from the moment I opened my eyes to the moment I went to sleep. Because I went on a vacation after Vlogmas, I just got so behind on work things. I'm slowly catching up, but it has made the last week very stressful. I haven't had a ton of me time. One of the things I said I was gonna prioritize this year is self-care, me time, taking care of my things, keeping my space clean, decluttering so I don't just have a bunch of things laying around that I don't need. I still have work to do today, but today's the first day that I don't have like an overwhelming amount of work to get done. So I think I'm gonna try and clean today. Your favorite thing in the world. I wanna start having better quality videos and putting more effort and time into the videos that I make for you guys. We're still just hanging out, but things like the quality of of the camera. I have a really nice camera, but I've never known how to use it. So I've been watching a lot of videos and trying to learn more about the camera and what it can do. I got a new camera lens, which is what I'm using right now. If you can't see a difference, then I just wasted a lot of money. But I filmed my first video with a new lens a few days ago. And when I went to put all the footage into my computer, it was all out of focus. I know you guys are the best and you're probably gonna comment below. I would have watched it anyway. I love you. We support you no matter what. I just think you deserve better than a video that's completely out of focus. So we're just gonna vlog again. When I looked at my weather app this morning, it said flurries. A little snow would be nice, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. We have a lot of house things to do today. This is kind of gonna be like a reset vlog, but a reset for the year. I will say I've been really good about sticking to my goals and I've been doing this really fun series on shorts and on TikTok where I don't have any fast food for 30 days. So I've been cooking all of my meals from home. In fact, this morning we're gonna make crepes. <laughs> Did you ever think that you would see me make a crepe? Probably not, but the time has come. I've been really intentional about making sure that the kitchen stays clean because I've never used my kitchen as much as I have in the past week. That 1% better saying has really been helping me. I just haven't had a moment to get everything in my house caught up to where my mental's at. Every day I just wanna take whatever time I do have to organize everything and to declutter everything and that's gonna be annoying and it's gonna be tedious and time consuming but once it's done, we're not gonna let it get like that again because we've changed, we're breaking the cycle. If you wanna sit over there and be toxic and say, mm, she's just gonna be like that again in six months. You can do that, I'm not letting you bother me anymore. So yeah. I should probably get out of bed. I'm gonna get out of bed in two seconds. Last night I started my declutter process with my room. I decluttered this bookshelf. I went through these drawers. I put brushes and stuff in this bin. I went through and found whatever was donations, garbage, etc. One of the things I found was this little affirmation book. It was just on my bookshelf. I thought that we would just leave it up to fate, give her a nice little open, and see what affirmation that she has for us today. And that's gonna be what we remind ourselves of this next week. Whatever you want to say, let it come through this book. I'm not peeking. Peeking's for weenies. I don't have a weenie, I have a poonini. <coughs> oh, what was that? It says, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. And there's actually two. So the other one says, to think is easy, to act is hard. But the hardest thing in the world is to act in accordance with your thinking. <laughs> I feel like that's very fitting for this year. We are where we're at and we're either gonna get 1% better or we can get 1% worse. But we have to be kind to ourselves because it's a process. Change is hard and it can take time, but we're dedicated to it, so it'll be okay. We're gonna stick to it. We're gonna do the thing. We're gonna, we're gonna be that girl. That was an intrusive thing that just came out of me. I don't know what happened there. I apologize. Laundry is something that I desperately need to catch up on right now. So if I don't do any laundry in this video, you guys have to scream at me in the comments. I feel like I have some updates for you. Big, major updates. The biggest, most important one, the most unexpected one, my parosmia disappeared. <gasps> Wait, let me just double check. I mean, it still smells like mint. Randomly the other night, I was sitting on the couch eating my vodka pasta that I made for myself, and I noticed that my parosmia was just gone. 
Me and Sam were just sitting here having our dinner. This Diet Coke was sitting in the fridge. Sam goes, Does Diet Coke still taste bad to you? I said, yes, it still tastes bad because everything still tastes bad. Because Prosmia has ruled my life for the past year and a half. Sam comes over, sits back on the couch, opens it up. And I said, you know what? Can I get a little sniff to see if it still smells like Prosmia? I take a sip. <laughs> Doesn't smell like Prosmia. I said, well, that must be a mistake. I take a sip. Slurp, slurp. That doesn't taste like Prosmia, but it also doesn't taste like what I thought Diet Coke tasted like. But then again, I haven't had Diet Coke in over a year and a half. There's really only one way to know. Get in, bitch. We're going to McDonald's. <laughs> Here it is. I only got a small because I don't know that I want to drink it. I've got a year without it. I don't think I need to drink it, but I need to know. Is that what it tastes like? It's definitely not Prosmia, but if that's what Diet Coke tastes like, it's disgusting. <laughs> So we made our way to Publix to find a girthy green onion section because if this doesn't smell like Prosmia, I don't know what will. I grabbed that bushel. Smell that piece. Okay. Took a few deep breaths in and it didn't smell like Prosmia. We did it. We did it. Hello. How are y'all? I started some new mental health medications. <laughs> I tried to pop a pimple that's so deep under my skin right next to my mole, and now it's bleeding. All I have is my scrunchie. <laughs> An important life update. Hooray! One of my things for this year was to get medicated for ADHD. Here she is. Here she is. I've really only ever been to therapists. I've seen a couple of psychologists and towards the end of last year, I had gotten diagnosed with ADHD. I had gotten diagnosed with a couple of other things that I don't know if I'm really ready to share yet. I want to know more about them and maybe get second opinions. I'm not really sure. I knew that getting medicated for ADHD could really help my life. So I made that a big point this year and I didn't want to waste any time. So I saw a psychiatrist. The medicine that they decided to go with is called Vyvanse. Not only do they use Vyvanse to treat people with ADHD, but it also can be really effective in treating binge eating disorder, which we all know I have. I'm really excited about it. Today's only the third day that I've been taking it and they start you off on a pretty low dose So that's probably gonna be a journey in itself trying to navigate like dosages seeing how my body likes it reacts to it The first day I took it I literally didn't want to eat at all if I wasn't doing my cooking challenge I probably wouldn't have ate which is concerning So I just need to be really intentional about making sure that I'm eating my meals and I'm sure the longer I take it Like those side effects will probably wear off too. I just wanted to that with you guys because I don't want to keep things well I'm gonna keep parts of my life private obviously but I don't want to keep that journey from you I feel like mental health has become less of a taboo topic but medications around mental health I still feel like have a certain stigma around them I also was a part of the people who really thought that I could just go to therapy and it would fix all my problems I didn't want to have to have medicine but I've come to the point in my life where I've realized that medicine is just a tool and it can be a very helpful tool to help you have a better life and if that's something I can do, why wouldn't I want to do that? So that's that. Like I said, I'm only on day three, so I can't really give you a this works type of vibe. Just know that that's yet another thing that we can check off the list that we did for ourselves. And I hate, I hate seeing doctors. My health anxiety is so bad. Okay, I don't know about you, but I haven't stopped thinking about crepes. I have no idea how to use the crepe maker I just got, but we're gonna have to figure it out. The last thing I want to do right now is clean my kitchen, but here we are doing dishes. I told myself I was gonna clean up after breakfast, but I just feel like I'll feel better if the kitchen is clean. I started manic cleaning my room last night instead of picking up the kitchen after dinner. So, guess what we're doing right now? 1% better. I'm pretty sure my cookie's out.
was white on the mountain tonight. There's not a footprint to be seen. Okay, so in front of me is a crepe maker. Does somebody want to explain what this was doing in the box? I must preheat for five to eight minutes. There's a green light that'll light up when it's ready. Okay, but how do I actually make a crepe? It came with a book of 100 crepe recipes. Sweet crepes. Oh, here we go. Basic crepe recipe. That's what I need to know. Four large eggs. How many crepes is this making? I'm gonna half it. I had to look up an egg white crepe recipe because I only have egg whites. How do I know what one egg white is? Eggs, a half cup of milk, a half cup of flour, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and a little bit of salt. Are dry measuring cups the same as liquid? That's a tablespoon. A pinch of salt. It says to let my batter sit for 30 minutes. I don't have time for that. I gotta stop trying to do things out of my skill level. Actually, no, I don't. We should always be pushing ourselves. So today, we're trying to make crepes. You guys thought the sushi was bad? This is probably gonna be worse. Pour batter directly onto non-stick surface. No butter or oil is needed. And then using this tool, spin in a circular motion. Oh. She's not pretty, but we do not judge based on looks. Wait one to two minutes, then use the paddle-shaped wooden tool to flip your crepe. Is this gonna turn out good? Now I'm working on the toppings. I'm just gonna do Nutellas and strawberries. My strawberries are cut. I'm really focusing on cleaning as I go, otherwise it gets so messy. To assemble our crepe, I'm going to take Nutella. I'm gonna try to not use a ton of Nutella because I know it's not the greatest for you. Okay. I don't know what happened. I got carried away. Putting some strawberries. Okay, I ended up rolling it, which isn't traditional for a crepe. That's how I do it at Pancake Pantry. I put fat-free whipped cream, sugar-free syrup. Look how cute she is. It can look good, but it doesn't mean it tastes good. She's definitely crunchy in some spots where crepes are not supposed to be like that. But once you break through her barrier, she's sweet and delicious. I think I have lots of room for improvement. If you've made a crepe before or have a good crepe recipe, let me know. If you guys like watching me cook and you wanna watch me cook more stuff, I'm doing no fast food for 30 days on this channel. It's just on the shorts tab. Technically, I guess I'm uploading every day. How long has this sweater been hanging here? I have a dress that's been hanging over here since I moved in here. That's a problem. But it's fine. It's fine because we're working on it and we can't expect to be perfect. Something I do a lot is I procrastinate and I put everything off. The rug in this living room is just a ruggable and I've been meaning to switch it out because this is still the Christmas rug. I haven't gotten around to it and it's gonna take me 10 minutes. I have no excuse. My old rug is clean. You can just wash them in the washing machine. So instead of making an excuse as to why I can't switch the rug out right now, I'm just gonna do it. If you guys have pets and you don't use Ruggable, this is not sponsored by them, but they have every color rug you can think of. And whenever they get dirty, you literally just throw it in the washing machine and dry it. I used to have to buy new rugs every like three, four months. I want to get better about washing my sheets every week. Now we're going to wash these. I just hope these dry by the time I have to go to bed. I just took the shower. If you know, you know. One of the things that I have struggled with as an adult is accepting that there are days where you just don't do anything. I don't think I've left my house in like two or three days other than to take my dog outside. I think I'm learning how much I left my house just to get food. Like without me having to stop and get fast food, I don't necessarily have a reason to leave my house, which means two things. One, I need to be more intentional about leaving my house when I have time. And two, I ate a lot of fast food. These are Sam's thoughts of the day and of the night. I felt guilty today because I didn't have anything fun or exciting to show you guys. Today for me is what I assume a lot of your guys' days are like. Oh. 
This stuff always makes my skin feel better. Maybe I'm more stressed than I think. I assume that my day today looked like what a lot of your guys' days look like when you have work. I woke up this morning, started my morning, made my breakfast, and then I edited on my computer. It's currently 8 p.m. I didn't stop editing till like 6 p.m. I also filmed some stuff too, but I have for some reason made staying home all day a bad thing in my mind. I don't know if it's because of just the people in my job that I'm perceiving or just feeling like I'm not doing enough. Genuinely, I spent most of 2022 thinking and feeling that way. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. I recognized that that's how I was feeling today and how I felt guilty that I didn't have a good enough video for you because I didn't leave my house and that there must be something wrong with me even though I literally spent all day working and uploading shorts and making content for you guys. I'm recognizing that today is a day where I'm being hard on myself and I'm not gonna let myself do that. So I took a very nice long shower and we're gonna have a relaxing evening. It's okay to not have something to do. It's Friday night. I would rather be relaxing and reading a book than go out and try and force myself to be social when I don't necessarily feel like doing that. I think what I'm trying to say is you can have a good full life without doing a lot of the things that you see people doing on the internet. I think this is a year where we should all be intentional and we should really focus on enjoying all of the small moments in our lives because at the end of the day, those small moments make up 99% of our lives where those big events make up 1%. If you find a way to find happiness in all of those little things, then statistically, you're gonna have a happy life. Instead of me continuing to run around my house cleaning everything so I can feel like I'm doing something, I'm gonna let myself stop and just have my evening. I came downstairs because my sheets aren't finished and I wanna be able to just relax and lay down. And for some reason, when I don't have sheets in my bed, I feel like I can't do that. So I'm gonna go full potato mode. If you need me, I'll be right here. the damn pillowcase. You just needed a little bit of convincing. That's okay. He's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna sit and watch some of my comfort YouTubers or just people that I've been enjoying watching recently. I've been really into Anna Hyde. Who else do I love? Ashley Ray Ridge. Love her. This is just my reminder to take it one day at a time. You don't have to conquer the world in one day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Thank you guys for spending today with me, even though it was just a regular old day. My lesson of the day, it's okay to not be busy. Getting things done around your house counts just as much and is just as rewarding as going out with all of your friends. That's what I learned today. And I had a great time reading my book and taking a shower and I got a lot of cleaning done. So I know when I wake up tomorrow, I'm not gonna have as many stressors as I had today. That's a win, people. I also hope that I feel a little bit better. And as I keep taking the medicine, in that it feels more normal and less odd. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Say bye. See you later. Oh.